Hello and welcome to this video. Okay, so what I want to do in this video is actually to take you through a process I, I began to call many years ago. Actually, I read a book many years ago that says that good designers copy, great designers steal. And what I want to do with this video is to show you how great designers steal by simply finding a design you like and replicating that design. Now, what I want to do in terms of Canva, this challenge right now, is to actually show you how to design something like this. And you can literally pick any design on the internet. You can take screenshots and just bring it in Canva and try to replicate it. That's how you get better at designing. Because if you find a great design and you model what great design you can see, you train your brain to be able to create great as well so this design here is i'm going to go to canva first and i'm going to come to let me just refresh this page okay so i'm going to come here and by the way today as i'm recording this canva just updated a lot of features within canva so as i'm working you may notice a lot of changes don't worry it's part of you mastering canva all right so here i'm going to create a new design i'm going to use instagram portrait and the Instagram portrait, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back here and right click this page. I'm going to copy this page. And you again, you can literally pick any image on Google or any image screenshot. And you can literally just copy like that and right click, paste. And it says select to allow. I'm going to click allow. And the image is now here. As you can see here, the image has now been brought in into my design here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to enlarge this image i'm going to enlarge this image so that we can see what it is this video may be a bit long so don't worry you are going to see how to put a design together from scratch and i'm doing this particularly because some of you may not have a paid canva account and you want to accomplish great designs this is how to actually do that Let's go from here and I'm going to now create a new page. I'm going to add a new page. From this page here, I want to first of all create my background. So to create my background, I'm going to look at it like this and say, okay, this background, let's select the background. Let's click on this color here. And Canva will naturally generate a color scheme from the photo for you right here. But in this case, I don't want to use that color. So I'm going to click on this, pick a color. This is called eyedropper. It allows you to pick a color from the design. So I'm literally going to pick this. And you can see that color has now been added to my background. All right. So we've added that. Now, in order to add the, um, let's add the, let's complete the background. So to complete the background, let's type, a magic dust so let's stop magic dust it look like magic dust is what you find in that background okay yeah i'm right so you see this is magic dust right here so let's click on one magic dust here and you can see this is magic dust right here and by the way i'm not the one that designed this thing this fly i'm not the one that designed it so this is magic dust right here let's scroll up again what i'm doing is i'm literally pissed or i'm breaking the entire design into pieces so that i can rebuild it uh, afresh so um that's so for this background this looks like this is torn paper so let's search for torn paper under elements so torn paper and you can literally see a lot of torn paper under graphics here i'm going to look for one that has okay one that has an irregular edge like this one okay this one has a regular edge um, I want something that has something from the side. So good. This does not have a regular edge. So I'm going to enlarge that. I'm going to enlarge. You can see that it ha it's long. It's not as long as the background that we want here. So in that case, I'm going to duplicate that. And I'm going to put this here. And let's enlarge this as well. So again, you can see we've created a background. So is the this go let's give them a little space a little bit okay let's undo so let's move that let's select that and let's move it up okay now let's look at okay what's the next thing 
it's the cloud, the sky cloud in the background. So let's write sky cloud. Let's look at sky cloud. You can see these are sky clouds, different clouds that we can use. This is one here. So let's open this. Um, so again, let me try and use only free elements in my search. So I've come here to filter this into free elements. And by the way, if you don't have a paid Canva account, this is a good way to avoid um, Canva giving you challenge when you want to export your design. Simply come up here and click on free and all the elements you are going to see are basically going to be free elements. You are not going to see any paid elements at all. So that will reduce your edit when it comes time to, edit, um, to export your designs. Um, this does not look like a good cloud, so let's look for a, an appropriate cloud. Um, if you're not finding one, you can come on. You can come under photos here, and while you are still selecting free, you can use cuts, cutouts only, and it's going to show you only those that are that the backgrounds have been removed. Here, there's nothing that the background has been removed, so let's remove cutouts only. And let's go back to, I actually want to use element. I don't want to use a photo. Um, so let's use this one instead. Um, let's see. Does that look great? It doesn't look as great as I like. So let's try this one. No. Let's try this. Okay, this looks a little bit like, yes, this looks a lot more like it. So now I'm going to go to position here and you are going to click backward, backward to send backward a few steps not to send completely to back again let's look at what we have here so again we have a couple of glow dust so come to this and uh, come to these layers here let's select the glow dust and let's move it downwards a little bit let's duplicate the glow let's move it downward a little bit so maybe we need to select another glow this glow is up right now so if you click on if you click on this design here you see that you've selected the glow so in order to avoid selecting the glue, just drag this here, these layers, and you're able to order that properly. Okay, now we have our glue. Now we have our, so a, a little bit of adjustment again in that background. Let's see. Is it this one? Okay, yes, this one needs to move a little bit up so that we can see all the glue right over there. Okay, great. So now we need to have this palm leaf. So again, you search for as you can see again i'm sticking with only free elements so this here looks like a good one so let's open this let's add this here and as you can see that's a paid element so i'm going to again select only free and you're going to see that there are still free elements that you can use even though what i clicked just now was a paid element you can see i've eliminated all the paid elements what's happening so now we have only three elements. So let's look for one that looks great. Let's look for one that is stunning. That will be very delightful for you to add right there. Again, sometimes, just to mention, sometimes you might not exactly find the element that has been used in a design. It's okay to iterate. It's okay to come up with your own style. So this is what I have here. And I'm going to use um let's see can it work can it work can it work let's go back up okay this is a color so this is colored let's see can we adjust the color okay looks like we can adjust the color hopefully my mouse will work properly i'm having an issue with my mouse that's why i've been using my trackpad so again if that's not working you can use colors to adjust that to use colors you can simply come to your fx effects here and look for um okay so if you don't see that under effect come to filters here and you can select let's see that does not work so let's click none and let's look for if you can't find that it's okay um let's see and uh, let me see do i need to move this around shadows doton doton is what i was looking for yep so we are looking for something that looks bluish bluish like this great so with that we have this is going to be problematic man how can you be freezing in the center of my screen that's wrong man so you can move to the left but you cannot move to the right <laughs> okay it's finally moved so we have a 
we have our leaf here. So let's look at the leaf is not covering the entire screen so much. It just shows. So again, let's duplicate that leaf. And this time around, we want to drag the leaf to the side. We want to flip the leaf so that just the part where you need is what is showing. Okay, great. As you can see, we are beginning to put together our design. Let's look at the lady. How do we get lady? So let's look for the lady. Now to find the lady, let's type party. Okay, you can see party. Girl. Um, let's let's again let's choose free and let's start looking for party girl. Here, of course, it has to be a photo. Now, a hack here that you can quickly use to find a photo like this is to add a new page, come to design, and search for. Okay, let's use B beach party so let's search for beach party now with this beach party what you're looking for is one that has the image of someone so maybe beach party let's add comma let's add dj let's add dj okay you can see now a visible human is now showing up um let's pick this lady let's say this lady is what we are going to use let's look at it and now you can see all these elements here if you click on this you see it says free so this by the way the name of that is called gold lens flare so you can see there's lens flare as uh, we have lens flare in advanced softwares here you find it in canva so here it looks like there are some things grouped together let's see if some things here are grouped together it looks like some things are grouped together here it looks like things are grouped together here. So let's look at it. Maybe we need to ungroup stuff. Let's look at that. Okay, at least now we have one girl, uh, one image of a human. Let's look for others that may look like that. So let's keep scrolling. Let's keep scrolling. Let's keep scrolling. Um, let's see. Okay, I like this one here. I like this one better because this one looks more like what I'm looking for. Now, right now, it looks like it has something around it. I'm looking for one that does not have anything. But anyway, just as to show you how to use it, what you do is use Control to bring it and Control V. So again, this is where you now begin to make your own magic because you are trying to model what is here. We can't find it. So this is where you now create your own. If I am to find this, huh? It's uploaded by there somewhere. I did not upload it now. How about this? Um, let's see this here. Um, so let's look at if we can find photos by this guy, graphics by this guy, videos, shapes. Huh? Is there not? So how come there's nothing showing for that person anymore? Anyway, let's look for party girl. So now it looks like party DJ. Girl DJ, um, wearing glasses, right? Wearing glasses, so wearing glasses again. We have our filter turned on, so it's only three elements that we can find. Um, so let's look, let's look, let's look. Okay, yeah, this looks actually, this looks a lot more interesting. Oh, it's a kid. No, we can't use a kid on that kind of flyer. Okay, so we are still looking for an image. I'm still looking for an image okay so far this is the image we have here so let's let's stick with this so we are going to drag this away from this here what's happening my so we're going to bring this lady to this oh no you see that was why i said i don't want to use my mouse it's beginning to do so if we are going to use this lady here now if you are on a free account and you cannot use edit image remove background a very simple way to go about that to use to remove background of an image would be to come to a website called remove.b if you are using a free account and you cannot right now at least for now not be able to you uh, uh, use a paid canva just come to remove bg upload an image my price, you will not see an image as. So let me look for an image here. So let's say this is an image here. So let's upload this lady's image. 
And what you're going to see is this is going to remove the background. And now, once it removes the background, because the platform knows that a lot of people use it with Canva, simply click on create a design. It says design entity, create a free design. It's going to, by itself, help you transfer the background that you have removed to a file inside of Canva. This way, you are not stressing yourself trying to remove background. Do you understand that? That may be a very interesting hack for someone who's using a free Canva account. All right, let's get back to our design. Let's continue from here. So we've removed this lady's background and now we want to, she doesn't look as exciting, as interesting as the image is meant to look. So let's do a little bit of something here. So let's look at all our so vertical shots. So it's similar like this. Let's look for similar like this. And let's see if we can find someone who's more exciting. Because she looks like she wants to slap me. Okay, this lady looks exciting, but the fact that our side of screen is cut off, that may pose a little challenge. Now, because I'm mindful of the fact that some of us may not have a paid Canva account, but again, I'm going to use a paid feature here combined with AI. And you're going to see how we can always make magic happen with Canva. So I'm going to select edit image here. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on BG remover and it's going to remove the background of this lady. Now the background of this lady has been removed, but this edge is bad because there's no way we can use this edge in the middle of the design. In order to get it to work, what we can do is we can click on magic expand and we can expand this lady's image to the right. So I've expanded it to the right and I'm going to click on magic expand and Canva, is, Canva AI is going to see that, oh, that's an image. It's meant to have a complete body part and it's going to try and add the remaining body parts to that section using exactly what's in that photo. Does that sound interesting to you? Now you can see it has added the body parts. So let's look at what options can we consider. It even gives you four options to use. So this is this is option one, this is option two, this is option three, this is option four. So I like this option three because it makes the ladies hair longer. I'm going to click on done. Now this is where I should. So if I were to start it again, I would have gone edit image. Magic expand, expand the image first. So expand the image first. So I'll expand the image first before I remove the background. Reason is removing the background added a black um, layer to the photo. But if I were to do it without removing the background first, you can see that he added it contextually without the black without the black stuff in there. So this looks like this is the best one so far here. Let's see. Let's see. So this is the best one. I'm going to use it. Great. Now I'm going to go back to edit image and I'm going to click on BG remover. Now it's going to take off the entire background. And the background that will be left will be the one that has, you can see this is now my new background. So this one right here, I can literally just click on that and delete it away. Can you see that? So now this is this lady here. Now in, as a principle in design, whenever you're designing, make sure your image is looking into your design rather than away from your design. Because of that, we are going to move this image to the side like this so that this lady is looking into our design. Let's look at some of the things they did here. They use a lot of glows. So let's start our glow here. This is where we now begin our glow. So let's delete this. Um, for this, let's move her back to this other page here and let's pick all these glows here. You can see the glows are all free. All this gold lens flare are all free. So let's start dragging it to the first page and let's start adding it. Here. This is, we can add one here. Or if you want to even make it a lot more custom, we can say pink lens flare. So we can say pink lens flare, you can see. Or maybe orange lens flare depending on what you are looking for, you will always find that here. 
If you want a free one, click on free again as a way to filter that out and you will see all the lens flare. You can see, literally, you can find as many as you like. So we are going to add that lens flare there. Let's look at the design again. Let's look at the design again. What else is there? Okay, so there is this part where she's over. Uh, where our hands has wool and then there is this leafy element at the background and there is this glow at the background here as well so let's see if we can make that glow happen so in order to create that glow i'm going to type like this let's see is this the same as the gold lens flare yes it's the same thing that's not what we want to use we want to actually use a glow so i want to use a an actual glow so let's go to graphics and under here, let's look at these magic recommendations. Let's see what it gives us. Um, okay, we are using a green stuff, so let's use this green here. And let's put let's put this green here. Let's make the green very big. So you make it very big like this. Make it very big like this. Use position to organize the layers. So now we've put that glow behind the lady. Let's do one, and then let's add another one. And that to add another one, what I simply did is to click on this duplicate here. Let's add the second one here. And because it's on top of the screen, let's move it backward a little bit. Backward a little bit. Backward a little bit. Let's move it back a little bit. A little bit here. Okay, good. So it's now sitting nicely in the background like that. And you can see we are beginning to create a design that is looking glowing looking um a lot more interesting let's do something to this screen also let's add some glow to the top of the screen here no by the way you are free to add as many glow as you like it's your design it is not my design why somebody may not like a lot of glow if a lot of glow is going to make your design fanciful and flashy the way you like feel free please don't let no man stop you from enjoy your glow if i glow as you like <laughs> you can see this lady is glowing now so let's just rotate it a little bit just to create a little bit of spark um let's reduce the size as well so that the glow is just uh, let's even make it close to our mouth if the glow is too bright you can come to transparency and reduce how much it's showing okay if this one too is too bright to make it look realistic we can reduce the the bright the transparency a little bit okay yes we've done that we've added the glow now let's add a little bit of the leafy part so what we we'll look for is let's type that as beach leaves so leaves. you can see it here beach leaves again i'm going to go for a free one even though if i were to use a paid one this is what i would love to use right now this is what i would have loved to use right now and just flip it this way and just put it behind this lady. This is how I would have loved to use this right now. Something like this would have been what I would have loved to use right now. But it's a paid element. So I'm going to come again. And I'm going to only look for free elements. Again, we've searched for beach leaves. Oh, did I not turn that on? So I'm going to look for only... Good. So we still have our beach leaves. So from here, we can look for where our, our leaves um we are looking for something that looks like palm tree leaves okay so this looks interesting great just one is fine there so you can drag this from the top and just take it to the back and just leave it there right there so we can move this move it to the back like now you have that right there now let's add all the other information so let's just start typing all the information we need to add in order to do that, we can simply type T on your keyboard and you can see it's it has added something. Let's try and use, let's try and write Afro. Afro. Let's write Lush. Lush. So these are two different texts. Now, they use a sans font. So let's try and use a sans font as well. This is Afro Slab 1. Um, in order to find a really solid font like that, you might want to come to search, click on search and look for display. So if you click on heading or display, if you click on display, you see all kind of bold fonts like these here, uh, like these here. 
uh, maybe these here. Uh, maybe it's, the, it's even the sugar display. Okay, I like this sugar display, so that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to simply use that as well. Let's see. It looks like there are two versions here. Okay, I'm going to use this one. I like these two because they look interesting to the eyes. Now I'm going to go ahead and use my mouse, use my keypad. I'm going to move these together so that you can see this here. I'm going to select both all of them and I'm going to drag this so that it's big. Now that it's big, notice that it's covering everything on the screen. So that means it's too big. <laughs> so let's reduce it again. Let's reduce that again. What did they, what did they type here? So let's type our text as is the for our text size, so let's reduce it to, let's say, 88. So it's on the line. Here, they are using a script. Remember, you have three types of fonts. Sans serif. So for script, you simply come to Android in, uh, inside Canva. And let's see what kind of font are they using. Um, let's remove the uppercase so that we have lowercase. And let's look for the type of font they are using. Let's try this Britney. Let's try this. You keep trying till you find the exact one that you think will look great for your design. So let's look at Canva student font. Let's look at this. Let's look at this. Let's look at this. Alex brush apricots. Uh, I'm just going to scroll, scroll, scroll till I find one that I think I want to use. Day party. That looks okay. Um, let's look at this. Let's look at this. All I'm just looking for right now is just a font that I can use. So, and by the way, sometimes fonts can be very difficult to use, especially when you're not designing something that is part um, your brand stuff that it's that you probably already have predefined fonts for you to use. So let's choose. So let's look for any just comedy here. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, this looks like a better font. Actually, I've come across an interesting font earlier. So let me undo till I get back to that interesting font. Is it that? I think this looks okay. So let's bring this to this next page. I think I want to use this. Oh, it's not working. So let's try this. Okay, this may work. Let's try the vintage. Okay, this is better. So we have one, we have two, we have three. Oh no, we have one, we have two. So what we are doing is we are simply moving them around. Now under position, I'm going to go to arrange and I'm going to click on center. And I'm going to move everything to the center. Now the other part is how do you make your font? How do you add all these effects inside of your font? There are now, this video is getting long. Um, right now, I'm seeing that my screen shows that it's now 30 minutes. The, my hope is that it's actually recording what I'm supposed to record. That's my hope right now. Because if it's not recording what's meant to record, I literally don't know if I'm going to be able to go back and start it all over again. But anyway, let me show you the simplest way to do that. Click on your font, come to colors, and under this place, you should be able to add green. So let's add gradient. So gradient, gradient, gradient. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. So it looks like you cannot add a gradient right now, right? It doesn't mean that you cannot add a gradient. It probably just means that um, there's a way I used to add gradient. There's a way I used to add gradient. Is it because I've not used gradient on this page so far? So let's add the page here. Let's click on this and let's look at if we can find gradients. Okay, yeah, these are gradients here. So again, let's try another rectangle. Let's try a rectangle. Let's add a gradient. Great. So if there are gradients like this, it means we can use gradients too. So let me use this one just for the purpose of this. And let me take this. Let me uh, let's let's copy that. So I'm going to copy this, control C. And I'm going to bring it to this page and I'm going to control V that. I'm going to select this text again and let's look for whether it's going to give us the gradient effect. 
If it doesn't give us, select this, copy style. Let's paste here. Ha! Huh. It is not Actually, I, I add gradient to text. So if that's not working, let's do our hack then. In order to do our hack, let's control C that. Let's control C that. Create a new piece and paste that. And what we are going to simply do is, I'm going to show you a, 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 a how should I say, an elongated process of creating that. So what you're going to do is you're going to select this afro here. By the way, I hope that as, we are, as I am doing this, you're actually repeating it as I'm doing the same thing like this because the best way to actually learn is for you to follow along to do exactly as I'm doing it. That way, you can literally achieve these same results as I am trying to. So what I want you to do here in order to create that gradient effect, ah, so let's draw a shape over this. Let's draw a shape over this. Let's draw a shape. Actually, no. Let's go and use let's go and use apps. So let's go to apps. Let me first of all be sure that it's not that I cannot find it. The gradient. So we have mesh gradient. We have type gradient. Good. So it means there's type gradient. Elevate your designs with text gradient. Finally, I think I found what I'm looking for. So this is actually text gradient. You know what was challenging before? What was challenging is that I wanted to show you a very long process of doing this. But then I just remembered there could be app. There could be an app that could do that. So now what we are going to do is we are going to type Afro. I'm not going to recommend you type both words at once. You may want to say, ha, huh, why not? The reason why I would recommend you to type the same words at once is because um, if you decide you want to change something up, you may not be able to easily change. That it means you have to start everything from scratch again. But when you create specific like this, when you create each letter on its own, it's easier for you to quickly make adjustments and get the results you are looking for. So I'm trying to use the orange they used there. To use the orange they used to there and let this one be red. Okay, so this is not going to be so let, okay. So you can see all of this here. We can make it like this, like that. Font type we are using sugar display. So let's type sugar. It's not showing our display font, but anyway, let's go for any bold fonts that we can find here. Any font that's really, really bold, that looks like other Afro Rush. Uh, this is quite interesting. So, okay, this cafe looks like it might be a little bit interesting. So let's use that cafe. Let's use that cafe. It's not very bold. Um, reset position. Take it to the side, to the right, to the left. Um, let's see. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, good. What I really need right now is just the font. Now I need a solid font. Um, so let's find a font here. Because this has preview, it makes it easier for me to see whether the font is what I actually want or I don't want. I think I like this super glue. So let me check what that's going to look like. Okay, this looks like it. Line height. What about width? Um, the lines are to the text. The letters are too, too close together, which is not bad. We're well, just that. Again, I just want something interesting, something nice. This block would have been nice too. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Candy Manchango. Okay, that font that we actually, the font in this design could actually have been Chivo. It could have been Chivo Bold. So let's check if Chivo Bold is okay. No, no. Honestly, right now, I'm just going to select any random. I'm going to go back to this super font time. Good. So I'm going to add that to my design. Good. Now I've added first letter. So this is first letter here. You can see this is Afro. Using the same, le this, I'm going to add rush this time around. So this is rush. And I'm going to say this second one. I see this is the second one. So now I'm going to just 
I'm just simply going to update the second element. Good. With that, I think I'm done for that screen. So again, I like this text, so I'm just going to drag it. Okay, I'm going to cut it. It's already on this page, so let me just leave it right there. And let's use position to pick the lush. Oh, it's actually lush. I wrote, I thought it's rush. You can imagine. I was looking at, so now we have a, we have a gradient text, which is good. Which is good right here. We have this up here. We can delete this text right here. And you can see we are still inside Canva. We have not gone anywhere with this other one. So let's move this up. This needs to come on top and be the top design. Okay, good. Now let's create the date. And the date is Saturday, 25th of May. So let's type text Saturday, 25th. Interestingly, it happens to be a couple of days away from, from when I'm recording this. It happens to be the exact day I have a, a that I have this in a lister. Is that, isn't that interesting? So I'm going to use this sugar display for this text here because I like it. So I'm going to use that sugar, dis sugar display. Good. And I'm going to enlarge this text. Okay. If enlarging is not working, then I'll simply use 56 here. Now the enlarge can now work. So now let's now make it work good so now you can see that this side is that leaf is blocking our design again in order to make that place all right what you do is add a shape add a shape to this side if you don't want to use a shape if you want to use something fancy you can type fancy i'm the fancy rectangle. all kind of fancy rectangles here so you find all kind of fancy rectangles here. So if you use this, you can use this gold rectangle, which is also fine. But you could also use a normal rectangle and add gold to that. So let's add a corner rounding to this. Let's select it with the text. And let's use a range to center, middle, and now we have our design right here. As you can see, I can continue to go down and literally recreate this entire design in my own way right now. So now let's say we want to add this pop world demo. So let's write here, P-O-P world, D-A-B-Y. Let's say I want to add that to my design. Again, to keep your design consistent, use literally few fonts in your design. So for this, this is Shugo display. I'm going to use Shugo Classic here. I'm going to take this font from here to 32. And I'm going. let me show you how I'm going to make this place easier on the eyes. Now you can see that everything here looks like it's crowded. It's busy. You can't even see what's in the background. By the way, if you use this Canva feature here, if you type here and type accessibility, Right now, if you come on this particular page right now, it's going to be marking a lot of things wrong. You can see, if I click on this, it says current color black. We can't find a color in this design that can improve text contrast. So if you click outside of that, it will say, it will, it will start selecting all kind of stuff that you need to improve. So here it says no alt text. Alt text, you can ignore alt text, no alt text, no alt text. If it's alt text, alt text is fine. But when it comes to color contrast, you can see low contrast color. So anytime you are designing, you literally can see what to do. Canva, we suggest to you what to do right here. But again, let's just add everything we need to add before we continue that side. So I'm going to duplicate this screen here, this text here, so that I can type what's in here. Okay, so now let's type fryer. By the way, in case you seeing this please know uh, it's not like i go to party i actually don't even leave my house most <laughs> so it's not like i go to party i just found the design i can't even remember where i found i think i found it in um lincolnshire black community group somebody probably shared it there and i saw the i just saw the flyer and i was like hmm we can actually use this flyer to do a class 
like this. And that was why I saved it. I just picked it so as to show you guys what, how to find, I, when you say design, how to replicate that same design. All right, so for this one, let's try for contact. Sorry, I'm writing in correct English. In fact, let's just write any number here. Let's just write any number here. The purpose is just to have details to add to that design. Okay, so now let's zoom out a little bit so that we can move all our designs around. Okay, so now we want to make this this bottom side interesting and easy on the eyes. So let's select, let's come back to position. Let's select our text, our two texts. This is text number one, this is text number two. These um, two elements rather. This text number one. So now I want to now arrange this side so that everybody, people can actually see what is in this side of your screen. Actually, sorry, I thought I was using Figma. So I wanted to use some function. So that's, that's there. This, let's select everything here. Let's centralize everything. And let's say you should organize it by that. It's looking like it's still crowded. So let's move it a little bit to the side. Let's move it a little bit to the side like this. And let's take this size. Let's drop it. This is 42. Let's drop it to 32. Let's reduce it by 10. Okay, good. Now it's looking clearer. Now it's looking smoother. But the design is still not showing. What we've written there is still not showing, which is bad. If you yourself are struggling to see what you are doing in your design, how much more someone else who probably may have some eye defect. In my day-to-day -day job, in my daily job, I design for older people who don't see things clearly, who probably have cataract and all that. So I'm very mindful of sharp contrast. It's something I've been doing for years anyway, but it became more apparent when I started working. So let's try transparent here. So we want to use transparent here. So I just want to try transparent. And what we are basically looking for is just this transparent, something like this. That's just what we are looking for. So something like this that we can literally just drag and put somewhere here. If that does not work, so again, look at what I'm going to do. See, I'm going to use that. I'm going to zoom out and see, I'm going to use this transparency that we've just added. I'm going to drag it so that we can see. It. And then I'm going to use position, come to layers, and I'm going to move it till it gets to the back of, till it gets to the back where I want it to cover. I want it to cover the text. I want it to, for the text to, I want it to, not behind the leaf it needs to stay on top of the leaf good but it needs to stay okay yes it's behind the girl so let's select two three and let's change the text color to a white a white and a white now that's still not visible right so let's go back to position let's select our leaf let's move our leaf around a little bit Let's move our leaf around it a little bit. Let's rotate it a little bit. Let's rotate it like this. Let's bring it out like this. Uh, maybe we just need to even rotate it and let it sit behind the lady instead of, no, it needs to still sit there. Okay, good. Okay, good. So now that is sitting there. Now let's look for a blur. So let's look for blur. And I'm going to look for white blur. For this white blur, I literally just want to carry this. Oh no. Literally just want to carry this and just put it behind. The... So I'm going to use shift, shift, con control down till I'm able to put it behind that. Um, This is not looking great because it's already contrasting that. So let's look for black. Good. So this is black blur here. It looks too sharp. Let's try this. Okay, this is great. So I'm going to put this behind here. Or if I actually want to make it more interesting, let's use a dark green. Since green is what we are using in our design. So let's just use a green blur. So a green blur, let's see if we can find the one that is straight. Good. Then it means we can now add our green here in the background to make it look like it's part of the design, even though we literally added it now by the way you can still find a free option so it's not necessary that you have to use a paid part and if it's a paid part that you can see if you can't find a free element 
let me show you how to get how to do something like that for free so you can literally select this or maybe you can look for a green blur look for a photo look for a photo like this add the photo to your design and then come to image now i'm saying if you want to create it yourself if canva is not allowing you to create that come to blur here and blur the whole image so intensify and then blur it now we've blurred it so let's go back out now you see that it's blurred but the edge does not look like it's blurred yet so let's go to our adjust and this is where we now add a little bit of let's see if we may let's see let's see let's see let's see let's see let's see there's a way i used to blur images back then in canva okay so maybe i can't do that anymore here instead what i'll look for is i'll look for graphics green blur i'll look for something that's a graphics and made up of image so maybe something like this yes so this has an image effect then i'll change all the colors right here so i'll change all the colors to the same color to the same green now that it's the same green i can drag it there and use transparency to reduce how intense that's going to be now you can see okay ai is suggesting as you try text to graphics which means you can literally come here and type something and it's going to generate a graphics for you so that's another function but i'm not going to use that i don't use uh, i don't let ai generate a lot of things for me may, most of the time reason because there are things that I let AI do for me, but I don't let AI generate some things for me specifically because I want to do them myself because that's where I have more control. So here, by the way, whenever you are designing, always increase the contrast of your design, of your photos. You can see that the lady has gone from just blank like this to something that stands out. Now, in order to make this more appealing to our eyes, let's drag this, let's take this a little bit down reduce the layer okay now we are beginning to cover i'm trying to look for how we can arrange it so that it doesn't cover but anyway if that does not work again which is already working anyway add this lift and then add this lift now if we bring out our design here you can see we've literally gone from blank screen something like this to creating our own version which is totally similar and as you can see we've literally not used any template and we've designed all of this from scratch i hope that this has been useful to you this is now 51 minutes into the video i hope that this is useful to you and this is how sometimes i just sit down in one hour um i created a design from scratch and i know that that design can literally it can go anywhere i can literally download it in canva of course in order to download click on share here and click on download here select the particular page you want to download for this i'm going to download page two and i'm going to select. okay everything else is correct and i'm going to click on download and it's going to start downloading now what is going to happen is i'm going to drop this in the group for you and then i'm going to share it along with this video so that you can actually repeat all of it. thank you very much i hope you have yourself a great